Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Lectures in Lab Coats. My name is Sparks and I will be your lovely lab coated lecturing let's player and today we're going to be looking at spawners. Marijunt Jep recently commented on one of my videos saying that spawners now spawn mobs three blocks away in every direction. If you didn't know this already, spawners used to spawn mobs in a square around the spawner, three blocks in the positive x and z, and four blocks in the negative directions. If you didn't know that, ignore me, and if you did, forget what you know, because now spawners will spawn mobs in a square, four blocks in any direction. Since I've gone to the trouble to test this out, I thought I'd have a look at some of the other mob spawner behaviours, specifically mob spawning frequency and what blocks mobs can successfully spawn in. So here's my setup. I have a zombie spawner on a glass floor. When a zombie spawns, it changes the colour of the glass below it and then dies. If the glass colour has changed 10 times, for that block it will disappear and leave a hole. I've used the block data command to make two changes to the spawner. Firstly, I have decreased the time between spawns so that one zombie spawns every 10 ticks so that we don't have to wait so long. And secondly, I've told it to spawn one zombie at a time instead of the default maximum four. This is because we want to measure how often they land on a specific spot, and if two spawn right next to each other they may nudge each other and not fall straight. I've also had to instantly kill any chickens as chicken jockeys cause problems with this experiment. I let this setup run for a bit, and this is what I got. You can see that the zombies have bored a roughly cone-shaped dent into the glass. There's a few interesting things to note with this. Firstly, the cone shape means that zombies are more likely to spawn closer to the spawner than further away. This seems to be roughly circular, even though the total spawn area is square. This actually means that almost zero spawns appear in the very corners of the square, which has barely been coloured at all. Secondly, there's a pillar of untouched glass at the very centre. This is because zombies can spawn with their feet one block below the spawner, level with it, or one block above. The spawner would be in their head if they tried to spawn below it, so they don't spawn at all. In the case of one block high mobs, they could still be able to spawn in this spot. That's cave spiders, spiders, and silverfish. If I plot this as a two-dimensional diagram using shading to show the spawning frequency of each spot, in this experiment I can see this spawning behaviour fairly clearly. I was also interested to see if mobs were any more likely to spawn at a different height. My prediction was that these two would be circular, with the height closest to the spawner being most likely. However, causing mobs to trigger a dispenser relative to their spawn height shows that the difference is negligible as to be the same on all heights after a short test. Finally, I wanted to see what, other than air, mobs could spawn in. Iron bars, fences, fence gates, doors and glass panes all work, but reduce spawn rate slightly. Signs work too, as do cobwebs. You can also use flowers, 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 basically all the flowers. Red and brown mushrooms, rails, and wooden and stone pressure plates. They cannot spawn in cobblestone fences or mob heads. Wait, those mob heads? They don't look like mob- they're mob heads. Okay, Minecraft? They also don't spawn in blocks to take up a full block of space, half slabs, or water. Hang on, spawners give off bubbles underwater? I had no idea. Sweet! Minecraft, you're forgiven for the science goals. As a closing note, I'd just like to mention that you can disable spawners by putting blocks four blocks in every direction around a spawner, level with the spawner and one block above. If the mob is one block tall, you'll need an extra layer below the spawner though. In the case of spiders, since they need two blocks of space to spawn, you only need to go three blocks out to stop them spawning. I hope you enjoyed the video and possibly learned something new, I know I did. If there are any other things you'd like me to test like this, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.